hey hey hello welcome or welcome back to my channel so um it's the weekend well it's sunday so it's like the weekend's past um but i wanted to do like a proper vlog but i kept on not picking up the camera so we're doing this instead where i'll just sum up what happened so friday saturday and mostly sunday most of sunday um it's it's it's, it's still early ish but not you know morning time anymore <laughs> it's afternoon anyway so i picked up two books which i finished um i also read a chapter of i owe you one by sophie kinsella so these like mood read video ish kind of deal um it's basically for me to finish my uh well the books i started prior to a long time ago um <laughs> And one of them is this. One of them is this. One of one of the books are a book I, f I finished. I started a long time ago. I'm I'm backwards today. Anyway, so um, I didn't start it from the beginning, obviously, because I did read some of it in uh, the last mood read video. So it's Guard Your Heart by Sue Divin. So. I think I started from like page, let's see, 91, yeah, chapter 14, so I'd read like a decent size, but still a lot more left. Um, so this is a, let's, let's just read kind of the back of it because too many words. So Aiden is, a Aiden, a Aiden, Aiden. <laughs> Aiden is Catholic, Irish, and Republican, and Iona is Protestant British. Also, her brother and dad is in the police, and Aiden's dad um, was in the other side. <laughs> the I, I, I. Anyway, so it's. There's a lot of like political things happening while it's like they're on opposite sides of a war coming into the middle and sort of like figuring things out for themselves so if there's like one thing i want to take from this book it's that you wh wh whatever kind of background you come from like your family and such you need to make up your own decisions you need to make your own choices uh, going forward so if that means you know hooking up with someone who is from a family that's like completely opposite to your own then do that if that's what feels right and so on um there's there's a lot of things happening in and not a very long book by the way and there were so many moments where I was like, this is not going to end well, this is not going to end well, this is not going to end well. Um, so many, so many things happen during the course of the book that I'm like, this just can't end well. Um, and I was, I'm not going to tell you, you need to read it for yourself, because that would be spoiling things. Um, but yeah, I, I, in the end, I thoroughly enjoyed the whole book and I think this author has another book that's quite similar but I looked it up and I forget I think there was like two girls this time but a similar kind of deal um I may pick it up in the future I don't know depends on if I remember or not um <laughs> It's not one of those that, one of those authors that I'm gonna be like, I need everything this second. Yes, 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 yes. Uh, but I did, I did enjoy the book in the end. Not completely sure why it took me so long to read it because it was very easily read. The chapters aren't too long, like some of the chapters. So it switches like between Aiden and Iona's POV back and forth. I think it's like every other chapter. So yeah, they have every other chapter anyway you get it so some of the the chapters are a bit longer and some of them are like two pages long because we're just like summarizing up from their side whatsoever i did feel like there were some things that aiden should have told iona um but they 
I mean, in the end, these things didn't really come up, so I guess not. But also, it feels like they could have just talked about it and Iona could have put in her, like, two cents over it. So, you know that. Um, the other book I picked up, and I'm not even sure why I picked up this book, it... I, I, I just did and I I really have no explanation but it's um <laughs> Midnight Sun by Stephanie Meyer <laughs> um so this is Edward's point of view of Twilight and if you don't know what Twilight is where have you been have you been living under a rock and so on and so forth and if you don't know what Twilight is, it's the sparkly vampires. Yeah. Okay. So, <laughs> this was a reread. And I don't know what made me go and pick it up. It doesn't make any sense. So, <laughs> backstory. Twilight. Like the, the original four books. So, Twilight, New Moon, Eclipse, and Breaking Dawn. And then we have... Uh, the short story, uh, the short second life of Brie Tanner, and then there's the like gender opposite thing, uh, life and death. It was like I think it was the ten year anniversary thingy. Anyway, um, but the four like original books, um, I have read them a couple of times, and. <laughs> Here's the thing. So they're not bad, bad, but they're not great. And I've read them a couple of times. And here's, 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 here's the thing. Each time I've read them, I've expected different things. Now, what is that a definition of? Doing the same thing over and over again, expecting different results. Yes, that is exactly what I have every time expected differently from Twilight. So it's not bad, it's enjoyable-ish, but there are like so many issues that annoy me and mostly they annoy me because of the fandom and the fandom that's like, this is epic this is the way it's supposed to be and it's um it's it yeah yeah it's it's toxic and that's what they don't say but it's very toxic anyway so <laughs> edward's point of view did did i need to read it again no i did not so why did i pick it up i don't know I really don't know, especially since it's like 750 pages, it's way bigger than Twilight. So, why? Why? Why did I read it again? I don't know. I don't know. I have no words for myself. I have no words. Yeah. So, with the definition of insanity um, being me, I'm gonna end this video here so thank you so much for watching if you know where I picked up Midnight Sun let me know because I don't know I don't know I I don't know anyway thank you so much for watching I shall see you all next time until then take care bye bye